Welcome to a very short history lesson with a very large religious emphasis on our parish, Carring Bar. You are looking at some grass and a car park. It used to be Carring Bar's first church. It was opened in 1949. It's no longer a church, which you can see because like there's no building here. If we come up to the other side of the car park, this massive building, you'll see the nice big cross in the middle. That became the church. But it's not a church anymore either. It's now called Keller Hall, named after the priest who got this all happening. It's hard to believe that before Carring Bar existed, we didn't exist. It was really only Cronulla. But then people started to live here. And they said, hey, Brother Dermot, can you open up a school? And he said, yes, I will. I'm a De La Salle brother. That's what we do. And they said, there's some room in the back of this church where you could set up some classes. He didn't like what he saw. He thought, no, that's not going to work. And he went for a bit of a sticky beak. And he came down, down the side of this church, as the ground rapidly falls away. And he sees a door as we get lower and lower. And he says, what's in here? Now, as you can see, it's not here either. But this, this little area is what was underneath the church. And there was enough room in there for De La Salle College to begin. This is Yarn. Yarn is in year 10 at De La Salle College, Carring Bar in 2008, exactly 50 years after Brother Dermot walked through this little gap, which is the doorway to the dungeon. Yarn came here in primary school when it was Our Lady of Fatima Primary, which it still is today. And he was taught in this big building, which isn't here anymore, which was called, the, they affectionately called the whole building after Brother Dermot's efforts, the dungeon. Because that became the church, remember? Jan's going to tell us how special it made him feel to be taught in a building knowing that Brother Dermot started De La Salle College Carring Bar right below where he started his education. It feels very special. Thanks, Jan. This class took place inside this tiny room called the dungeon, but soon they would outgrow it and they would have to leave. Leave, Jan, leave. Lean. Yeah, that tree wasn't there back then. And Jan goes from the dungeon. And he's now heading towards the place now, you head, yeah, now he's going to turn the corner and head towards the place where De La Salle College Carring Bar would grow. And so they leave the dungeon behind them. Hey, Jan, don't you think this would be a great place to build De La? Yeah. Correct. And that's what they did. It's so big you can't even fit it onto the screen. Zoom out to In 1963, there were more students in this school than there are today. But there was only half the building. They built this massive building in two halves. Those of you may have noticed that right in the middle, which we'll show you later, there is a clear drawing from the two buildings. And then in 1964, they built the rest, and De La Salle College was complete. We're now standing on the top floor of the main building, and we can see the new church, the third church of Our Lady of Fatima Parish. And we can also cast our eye inwards, and we can see this join that we're talking about. All the way. Wow, did you know that? Well, you do now. On the middle floor, and we can see the join. And here is the foundation stone. And you'll see that this school was solemnly blessed on this very day. And so it may have started in 1958, but it kept on growing and growing.
and in 1964 it was blessed. And Father Keller was still with us and in his honour they named the second church after him which still stands, they call it Keller Hall. And in honour of Brother Dermot, our first principal, they named the library after him. And today, 18th of September 2008, the college continues to grow.